spoken to people in government and the, the situation, the big problem is with the contract for the F-35. Everybody in government is telling us it's going to create jobs here. Everybody is telling us uh, that uh, we're definitely going to get some contracts out of that. But the problem is, is nobody can tell me how many jobs. Nobody can tell me who, which companies are going to get contracts. And nobody can tell me exactly how much money it's going to bring back to the Canadian government, to, to, the, to the people in Canada, to, to the people who are the working members in Canada. Uh, the other problem with that is uh, I've got uh, a plant members that are represented by the IAM in uh, Mirabel and uh, there's 1,200 people inside of that plant. There's all kinds of expertise and for the last 30 years these people have been repairing, maintaining and overhauling all the military's uh, F-18s. Uh, as everybody knows, the F-35 is going to replace the F-18. Once the F-18 doesn't exist anymore, if we have no guarantees that we will do the repair and overhaul for our own Canadian military, those jobs are all gone. That's 1,200 jobs, immediate jobs in Canada that are going to be gone if we have no guarantees that that work is going to be done by the Canadian people. Now, there is $9 billion that is going to be spent on this contract and there's another $7 billion on maintenance. Uh, it's time now, before the contract is officially signed for the Canadian government, to, to put some pressure They've got leverage before the contract is signed to make sure that it is signed on the dotted line that we get to do those jobs.